Okay, welcome back to the next part. We are going to do the routing process this time on the according to the article. So the first thing you're going to do is just look for your settings, whatever you click, either the app or up in the quick settings panel or whatever. And then uh, activate the developer options. So scroll down to the bottom, enter about phone. Then find the build number and tap it multiple times until it says you are now a developer. Uh, just go on the back and then look for your developer options. Then activate it up there, turn it on, get a warning, press OK. From then you just scroll to the bottom and you will allow USB debugging, which will also give you a warning. And then notice I've already unlocked my bootloader. That, that's why the OEM unlocking is grayed out. So, but if it is not grayed out for you, that means you just turn it on and continue. On your PC, look for where the platform tools are, where your first boot drive, uh, where your first boot folder is. Open it in CMD and make sure your phone is turned off for this. And then you put your phone into first boot mode. Then you just type on your device, on your on your computer first boot devices. Your device should show up, and then the next command is first boot OEM unlock, and then still press enter. And on your device, you, you should get some things that are warning you. So you just press, I believe it's power up, up the volume up button. So just press volume up once to accept or whatever they tell you on the screen to accept. So just read the instructions. And then once that is done, just reboot your device and yeah, the OEM unlock is done. So your device is ready to be, uh, you know, super usered. Okay, for the next part, we are going to go and copy the boot IMG into the, we're going to go and copy the boot IMG into the phone. So connect your device to the computer and then look for where your firmware is, either the original firmware or the backup firmware that we did in the first time. Copy the bootloader, the boot IMG and paste it into the phone's internal storage, whatever that is. And once that is done, uh, that's it. Now disconnect your device and on your device, download Magisk and install it, wherever you get it from, just install the thing. And then when that, once that is done, uh, you can <clears throat> open up Magisk and then continue the process. Press install now, this is I believe the latest version so it's, it's a bit different. But the things, are, the core is pretty much the same. On install, now I'm going to decrypt it, that's why I'm going to uncheck that uh, the option that was checked and then press next and then patch IMG. Now look for the IMG, the boot IMG that you got from your firmware into your phone. Select it and press let's go. Uh, my disk should start doing its thing until it is done. Just be patient a little bit, it doesn't actually take long. And then once that is done, Find the, the boot IMG that was created by Magisk in your downloads folder and uh, rename it. Rename the boot IMG to uh, rename the new patched IMG to boot IMG so that it can be used in Flash 2, the Flash in the SP Flash 2. Then on your PC, uh, just connect your device again to the computer. And uh, this time we are going to create a folder. I created a folder separate for the for the flashing. So just look for the the boot IMG wherever it is from your phone on your device. Then copy it. This is how I did it, but you can do it in any other way. So copy that boot IMG. Then I went to my into my main Techno Common uh, folder, created a new folder called it for routing, and then inside I put I pasted the boot IMG which I got from the from Magisk after patching. And then all you need to do is look for the real the real firmware, either backup or or original 
uh, choose the scatter and then the preloader. Uh, copy those two and take them into the root in the into the for rooting folder. And then the folder is ready. So make sure you turn off your device uh, before you continue. But in this stage, just open up uh, SP Flash 2 and check that lib check again so that it doesn't cause us issues later. And now when you're choosing the 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 that this file make sure you use the exact file that you used in the in our previous section and then the scatter loader make sure you choose the scatter file for the in in which is inside the for routing folder and when you copy that so that it gets the 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 what so that it gets the files that we need the boot mg especially so the boot mg selected and preloader selected connect your device and it should go smoothly. Just wait for it to finish a little bit. Uh-huh, that's it. And then we are good. So just cross out that thing. And then we can go back to our phone. Uh, on our phone, when it is on, now it has been turned on. Turned it on. Uh, open up my disk and uh, we should start seeing whether things are working. I just got the ES file explorer from somewhere so you can download ES file explorer from whatever you want to download it from because this is what we are going to to use to prove that we have uh, super user access to our phone so let it download and once it is done we move on we install the thing just install it and ignore the warning that is brought by uh, Google Play let's install anyway and once that is done open ES file explorer and uh, go to the menu and scroll to tools then turn on root explorer now the first time is just granting permission to the to file access and then the next time you do it again it will get the root access so First time is for uh, for uh, to for folder access for file access. Then the next time is for root access. And now, once we go into our super user tab, we can see that we have ES file explorer available as a root as a super app. 